it's day five of week four of 52 weeks of vlogging and wowza what a week! We had the State of the Union address and we had the President on Google Plus and it was Valentine's Day but more about the President on Google Plus but you'll have to wait till tomorrow because it's book review Friday and this is Ash by Melinda Lowe. Okay, so there are a few things you need to know about this book. The first thing is that this is a retelling of the classic Cinderella and it is a fantastic retelling in the traditional fairy tale sense. This is what I mean. Listen to this opening of chapter two. In that country, the great expanse of the wood descends from the northern mountains in foothills of blue pine, sweeping south toward the more civilized oak and birch of the king's forest. No one travels into the interior of the wood, although it must once have been populated because numerous roads and tracks lead into it. Those tracks have long been abandoned and the wood is thought to be the home of dangerous beasts and the most powerful of all the fairies. Some scholars speculate that once upon a time the country was thick with magic. In addition to fairies there were powerful sorcerers and witches who did more than brew willow bark tea to calm a child's fever. But as time passed the magic faded leaving behind only a faint memory of its power. Some said there was a great war that drove away the sorcerers and lasted for so many years that the very shape of the land changed. Mountains became valleys beneath the tread of thousands of soldiers, and rivers were rerouted to make way for grand new palaces. But all that is merely conjecture. No history book survived to tell the tale. Only the green witches remained, and their magic was limited to saying the old rites for birth and marriage and death. Sometimes they brewed love potions for girls who hadn't met their lovers by Midsummer's Eve, and sometimes the love potions even worked. Usually that was enough to remind the people that magic still lurked in half-forgotten places. Okay, so that gives you a sense of the setting, and the setting is perfect. I think that the decision to make this book a traditional fairy tale feeling kind of book was a really good decision, and I am so glad that Melinda Lowe did it that way. The story of Ash, who is Cinderella, is just marvelously rendered, and it's told in the perfect setting. The parts where she deviates from the traditional story, um, in the sense that Ash kind of has a sort of love, lust type yearning for her fairy godmother who is actually a, a guy fairy. Um, and the, the fact that she doesn't actually fall in love with the prince, she falls in love with the prince's huntress, are unique enough. And I think that the decision to make those the points where the story deviates from the norm and keep it in its traditional setting with the traditional fairy tale feeling was such the right decision for this story. I also thought it was really interesting that there are some pretty traditional tropes in here. In both instances for Ash, the person of her desires, um, both the fairy godfather and the ultimate love interest, uh, the huntress, are older, wiser, more experienced. It's c the kind of thing that in teen books sometimes raises eyebrows, but at the same time within the story makes a degree of sense and works because Ash is quite sheltered and she does live a very secluded life. And so it's understandable that she would just naturally be more naive than pretty much everybody else in the story. But at the same time, I would have liked it if she hadn't been, if there had been someone who was less experienced than her. But then it wouldn't have been a traditional Cinderella story. I mean, Cinderella is the classic naive, um, bleh. And that's another place where this story deviates, actually. In this book, Ash doesn't stay that naive little girl throughout the story. She does grow up. She makes some very tough, very clear decisions in which she really takes control of her destiny as much as she can within the framework 
of her situation. I can't get into the framework of her situation anymore because that would totally spoil the book. That's it for me for now. I highly recommend this book. It is excellent. Find it in the teen section at your local independent bookstore or go online. Links down and below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.